Ukrainian armed forces destroyed record number of Russian soldiers and artillery in a month. In May, the Ukrainian military destroyed 1,160 Russian artillery systems. This is a record number of artillery that Russia has lost in one month, reports the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense. 1,160 Russian artillery systems were destroyed in May. It's the biggest number of artillery losses in two years of the war. And Ukrainian warriors continue to transform Russian weapons into scrap metal. The Defense Ministry said, also in May, the Russian army lost 38,940 of its soldiers in the war against Ukraine. This is the largest monthly loss of the enemy since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. In addition, in May, the Russian army lost nine fighter jets and 860 armored personnel carriers. More losses were recorded in the direction of Kharkiv. Russia's losses during the offensive in Kharkiv Oblast, launched earlier last month, are eight times higher than those suffered by Ukraine's armed forces, President Volodymyr Zelensky said recently. Speaking to the Kazakh outlet Vlast, Zelensky said, the figure shows Russian President Vladimir Putin has absolutely no regard for human life. Russia launched a new offensive on May the 10th in northern Kharkiv Oblast. Moscow's forces had managed to advance as far as 10 kilometers into the region, but had been halted by the first line of defense. On May the 24th, Ukraine's military said it was now conducting counter-attacks against Moscow's forces in the area. Their breakthrough in the direction of Kharkiv resulted in military casualties of one to eight, one Ukrainian to eight Russians. Zelensky said while speaking to reporters in the ruins of a Kharkiv print house, which was destroyed in a Russian missile attack. Two small planes crashed midair during an airshow at Beja Airport in southern Portugal on Sunday, killing a pilot, the Portuguese Air Force, PAF said. The incident occurred 180 kilometers south of Lisbon and involved aircraft from the Yak Stars Aerobatic Patrol, described as the largest civilian aerobatic team in southern Europe, by the PAF. The patrol includes Portuguese and Spanish pilots. The killed pilot was Spanish. Another pilot has been injured. The show was organized by the Portuguese Air Force. First French troops en route to Ukraine, member of the Ukrainian parliament. The first group of French military instructors are coming to Ukraine, high-profile Ukrainian politician Alexei Goncharenko said. His statement comes just days after Ukraine's top commander, Alexander Sirsky, announced that he had authorized the presence of the French personnel in the country. My sources informed me that the first group of French instructors is already on its way to Ukraine. Goncharenko, a member of the Ukrainian parliament and a delegate to the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, wrote on X. In February, French President Emmanuel Macron said that he could not rule out the possibility of NATO member states sending troops to Ukraine in the future, although French officials soon clarified that he meant non-combat personnel. Macron later argued that NATO should adopt a policy of strategic ambiguity towards Russia. The French leader has been working behind the scenes to forge a coalition of countries willing to dispatch trainers to Kiev, Bloomberg reported. Sirsky, who was made Ukraine's top general in February, said that he had signed the papers allowing instructors from France to visit Kiev's training facilities and familiarize themselves with their infrastructure and personnel, and had notified French Defense Minister Sébastien Lecornu. French newspaper Le Monde, citing sources familiar with the matter, said that France could send instructors to Ukraine to train its military in a matter of days. According to Le Monde's sources, Ukraine was forced to tone down its comments on the possible deployment of French instructors to the war-torn country. Discussions on the matter should accelerate in the coming days, they said, and an announcement could be made during Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's visit to France. France would initially send a few dozen personnel in order to identify training needs before deploying 
employing several hundred more, the sources said. Reuters also reported that France could soon send military trainers to Ukraine, citing three diplomatic sources who said the training would focus on demining, ensuring that equipment stays operational and technical expertise for warplanes to be provided by Ukraine's Western allies. The arrangements are very advanced and we could expect something next week, one source said.